Hey Yogi, welcome to class. If you're new to the channel, I'm Re, this is Burley and this is Drakey. And usually we have, I have both of them, usually it's one. And if you are returning, welcome back. We are stoked that we are gonna practice with you again on YouTube. Before we get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. It just helps us to grow our teeny tiny little spot in the YouTube universe. And if when you get to the end of the practice you enjoyed the class, then hit the like button and leave us a comment. Let us know how you got on or just if there's any questions you have or just anything you want to see. Um, I love engaging with you guys in the comment section. And then finally, if you want to tag me or us um, as you're working through the class on Instagram, then you can tag us at the handle at Riri's Yoga Channel. All of that stuff out of the way, um, let's get to the yoga. So this class is going to be just a bit of a twisty um, vinyasa practice and I will use a block for some part of it. In fact, I'm going to start um, sitting on the block. So if you have a block, grab one. If not, it's not going to be, you know, the end of the world if you don't use one, but it might just feel nice at different points in the practice. Either way, come in to sit down in Virasana or Vajrasana, so sitting uh, on the shins. I like to put the block in between my ankles, really squeeze the block, and then sit on it just to help me feel a bit more comfortable for these opening moments. Let the hands fall into the lap, either palms facing up or down. Truly, it is your call. And we shall begin. You can keep the gaze nice and soft here or you can completely close down the eyes. Take a nice long sigh out. <sighs> nice. On your inhale, draw your shoulders up towards your ears. Imagine that your shoulders are trying to get as close to the top of your head as they can. As you exhale, sigh out through the mouth, let the shoulders just drop. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale, visualize anything that's been like bugging you or anything as you reach those shoulders up that's just done your head in this week. And then as you sigh it out, visualize it moving away. <sighs> shoulders fall down. Awesome, one more of those. Inhale, gather the shoulders up. They're racing up towards their ears. At the same time, you're filling up through the belly. And as you sigh it out, <sighs> let the shoulders fall down. Awesome work. From here, as you inhale, reach the arms wide and take them up and overhead. The drishti will go to the fingertips. On the exhale, we're going to cross our left hand behind us. Right hand's going to go on the outside of the left thigh or the left knee. And then inhale, reach up nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, see if you can look over that left shoulder but more so see if you can really twist from the upper back so rather than kind of hiking the neck too much to look over see if you can just move your whole torso around to the left inhale reach up look up drishti to the fingertips exhale take it over to the other side left hand outside of right thigh right hand falls behind you Take another inhale here, sit really tall and long through your spine and then as you exhale, can you just turn a little bit deeper? Awesome, inhale, reach the arms up, look up, exhale, open to the left, really turning through the torso, feeling this rotation kind of from your mid-back upwards. Inhale back to center, drishti to fingertips. Exhale, opening up to the right, drishti to kind of over that right shoulder. As I say, think more about twisting through the upper back than twisting through the neck. So the neck is going to move to look behind you, but it's less of the impetus. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, release the hands. Awesome. Inhale, take the hands into the center of the chest and open up the palms so they're flat to the chest. On an exhale, turn those palms away from you. As you do so, puff, puff, push through your shoulder blades to really puff through the upper back. Kind of like a seated cow po uh, cat pose here. Inhale, start to lift the fingers up really reaching the arms up. See if you can take the arms kind of out of your peripheral vision, 
Exhale, roll down. Inhale, roll up. Taking a couple of these seated cat cows. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. This time, inhale over to the right. Exhale down the left. So feel like you're rolling up to the left this time. Down to the right. Keep going side to side. So just feel like you're just really... I don't know, opening up through that side body, getting into those spaces, that territory that we, we kind of don't often explore. Or oh, personally, I always feel like I need more side body exploration. Nice, and then come up, release the hands, cactus the elbows as you exhale, draw your elbows down towards your hips, lift up the heart, and then release. Come off your block. And have your block to the top of the mat. It's just going to be handy um, for later on. Come to all fours and we'll warm up the wrists here. So gripping through the fingers, drawing the belly button back to spine and circling over the wrists. You can tuck or untuck the toes here. It's really your call. I like to tuck them because then as I move, I feel like I'm getting a little bit into the arches of the feet as well. And feel like you're just moving and grooving here. You know, there's no right or wrong. There's no proper yoga, like the right and the wrong way as there often is in yoga. It's, it's just movement. It's freedom. There's no structure other than your hands bearing weight and moving around on top of them to warm the wrists. Keep moving just for a couple more breaths here, really starting to get into the forearms and the fingertips as we move around. Nice, and then from here, um, tuck the toes, lift the hips high, come into Ardho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Feel free to step the dog back a bit because that might be a bit narrow coming up from tabletop. And feel free to also have a soft bend or a deep bend in the knees to allow you to really flick the tailbone up and behind. Keep pressing into the hands, keep pushing away from the mat. From here, right arm is gonna go alongside the right side of the body keep pushing through that left shoulder so notice how it probably like minded will cave into the ground a bit Re resist that push away right hand down switch sides left arm will lift push out of that right shoulder do not allow that right shoulder to just dump and accept all the weight the shoulder wants to say no i'm strong i'm pushing you away Switch in sides, left hand down, right hand up. Feel it again on that left side. And then right hand down, left hand up, push away. Left hand down. The right arm will come up, as will the left leg. Flirt with the instability here. Feel the wobbles. Keep pushing out of the left shoulder. And then switch. Right hand down left foot down left arm long push out of the right shoulder first to find some stability and then reach the right foot up and away two-point dog left hand down right foot down nice bending through the knees rolling through into a high plank pose exhale take a push up dropping knees dropping forearms, looking forward, sliding into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, exhaling. Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Let's do that a couple more times. Pushing off the feet, roll through into high plank. Exhale, vinyasa, half or full push-up, but goes back towards heels, drops forearms. Inhale through to upward facing, and exhale. To Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Nice, one more of those. Be bend the knees, lift the heels, push off, high plank. Exhale, vinyasa. 
Remember to engage the glutes there as well as the core on that push up. And then roll back. Downward facing dog. Awesome stuff. From here, lift your right leg high, three leg dog. High on the ball of the left toes, deep bend of the left knee, bend the right knee, right foot travels to the right thumb. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, rise, low arches lunge, arms out in front. Exhale, open up through the right hand, taking the twist. Low arches lunge, feel like your right hand is reaching back, your left hand is reaching forward, and you're taking the twist here, from the mid back. So the hips are staying square. We're twisting through the back. Nice work. From here, see if you can just reach back for the uh, left ankle or the left calf and just take the left arm up and overhead. Just this low revolved lunge here. Nice. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Right hands to the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift the right leg high. And then inhale, push through into upward facing dog. Exhale, wave back. Downward facing dog. Left leg high. Uh, high onto the ball of the right toes. Deep bend of the right knee. Bend the left knee and then drop the left foot next to the left thumb. Drop the right knee down. Rise up, square the hips to the front of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the bow with the left hand, left fingers moving back behind you. Take the twist, feel it out, but feel like it's coming from your mid back. So rather than twisting from the hips, try to keep the hips really kind of square to the top. Nice, from here, your left hand's gonna chase back for your right calf, your right ankle your right thigh, anything basically on the right side behind you. The right arm is reaching up and behind, feeling open through the front body. Inhale here, exhale, right hand down, left hand down. Tuck the back toes, three leg dog, the left leg goes high. Inhale, push off the right foot, come into Udva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, wave it back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg high, three leg dog. High on the ball of the left toes, deep bend of the left knee. Use that as your spring. Right knee draws in as you spring forward, right foot to right thumb. This time keep the back knee lifted. Rise up on the inhale, arms out in front. On the exhale, the right fingers string the bow. You're an archer in this moment. Inhale, grow a bit taller, maybe come out of it. Exhale, commit. Sink deeper. Notice what it feels like to just take this twist here and look in different parts of the mat rather than so linear, up and down as we usually are. We've kind of got these different spaces to explore here. Nice. From here, your right hand, same as last time, is chasing for the left leg. The left palm goes up and out of vision, reversing the lunge. Trust your space. Trust that left foot to push you up and that keep you there. And then inhale, straighten both legs. So this is where the block will be pretty handy. So I like to have the block here on the outside of the right foot. Click the back heel in, just one, and then rise up, setting up for Parivrita Trikonasana, revolved triangle. So, hands on hips, left arm reaches up, take an inhale, grow tall, reach up and out of that left shoulder like we did when we were in the down dog. As you exhale, lean forward until you lose that natural lumbar curve. And then take the left hand either to the block or to the mat, your choice. You can keep the right hand where it is at the back of the spine or on the right hip, or you could lift the right arm up and take the full twist. I really like the block here because it allows me to keep pressing into the back heel whilst also using 
kind of a bit of leverage to turn through the twist. Nice. Beautiful work. From here, bend through the left knee. Take your block with you if you want to. We're coming into Ardha Chandrasana. Sorry, revolved Ardha Chandrasana. So revolved half moon. Paravrita Ardha Chandrasana. Keep lifting through the left leg. Keep reaching the hand or keep it by the hip. Wherever it is, is fine. You're twisting to the right. Nice. Slowly bend through the right knee so you can plant the hands down. The left foot will step back. The right foot will step back to meet it. Lean forward and then exhale. Take a full or half push up. Drop knees, drop forearms. Look forward. Come through into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Take an inhale as you arrive. Exhale, wave it back. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Beautiful. The left leg will lift. Three leg dog. High onto the ball of the left toes. Deep bend of the left knee. Drive the left knee into the chest. Left foot to left thumb. Rise up. All right. Arms out in front. Setting up for archer's lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, open. Left hand chases back behind you. Right arm chases out in front. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, sink deeper. Try and take the twist here, purely from the upper back, even if you don't go as deep as you normally would. Nice. From here, left hand is chasing behind you. The right arm is going to reach up and over. Revolved lunge, the right palm just going off into the distance where you cannot see it. Inhale here, exhale, come all the way up, straighten through that front leg and then click the back heel in one. If you want your block, of course, go for it now. And then hand, left hand to left hip. Inhale, reach your right arm long, really grow through that right shoulder, the right armpit is getting longer. Exhale, lean forward, reaching as far forward as you can until you lose the, the lovely kind of natural curve in the lumbar. Then take the right hand over across to the block or to the mat, really press into the outer edge of the right foot. So once you can't do that, you've gone too low, you might need to come a bit higher or you might need to adjust the block. Keep the arms as they are or on the inhale, sweep your left arm up. Notice how you really have to work there to keep the hips square. Keep fighting the good fight here. Keep pressing into the outer right foot. One more inhale here. And then exhale. Bend the left knee. Take the block with you. Come through into Paravrita Ardha Chandrasana revolved lunge. Revolved half moon. Left hand onto the left hip or the left hand is going to lift up, reaching tall, using that to send you deeper into the twist. Nice. Rebend the left knee. Move your block. Hands plant to the mat. Right foot goes back. Left foot goes back. Exhale. Vinyasa. Dropping knees, dropping forearms. Looking forward. Inhale through to upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back. Downward facing dog. Awesome stuff. Right leg high, three leg dog. On your exhale, right foot travels up to right thumb. Rise up, archer's lunge. On your exhale, open up, right arm chases back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink down. Nice. From here, hands back into the center. Your left hand is going to plant to the floor. Roll over the left toes. Come into Vashistasana. Side plank. Reaching the right arm up, pushing up and out through the left shoulder. If it feels good here, bend the right knee. Drop the right toes behind you and come into flip dog, wild thing. Keep reaching the hips high. 
And then looking to the top of the mat, on the inhale, draw the right knee in to the chest. On the exhale, how slowly and gently can you drop the right toes, drop the right heel. From here, your right arm is going to chase back for that left thigh. Your left hand is reaching up. You're a palm reader in this moment. You're reaching, looking for the left palm until it goes out of sight. Maybe bending the left elbow, cradling the head. Revolved lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten the leg. Click that back heel in. Use your block or not. Left arm reaches high. Inhale. Grow up and tall out of that left shoulder. On your exhale, leaning forward. The left hand will chase across the right side. And then inhale, taking revolved triangle. Paravrita Trikonasana. Keep sending the right hip back, plugging the left hip forward. Another inhale here. And then exhale, look forward. Bend through the standing leg at the front. Lift the back leg. Coming into, you might need the block or the floor. You're revolved. Ardha Chandrasana. Revolved half moon. Keep sending that left leg high and back. Nice. Rebend the right knee. Plant the hands. Left toes reach the back. Right toes go to meet them. Exhale. Half or full push up. Dropping knees, dropping forearms, looking forward. Inhaling to Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. From here, left leg will go high. Three leg dog. Lift the ball of the right toes. On the exhale, left foot will travel up to left thumb. Inhale, rise. Prep for your archer's lunge, reaching forward. Exhale, left hand strings the bow, opening up, taking the twist. Feeling this twist here. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, commit deeper. Take the twist from the upper back, even if you're not kind of completely twisting all the way round. Inhale, hands in to prepare. Exhale, the right hand will plant. Roll over the right foot. Come in to Vashistasana or your a variation of it. Reaching through that top arm. Feet can be side by side or stacked here. Keep pushing away with that right shoulder. Left knee into the chest. And maybe you want to drop it behind you. And then reaching up into flip dog. Wild thing. Looking to the top of the mat. Inhale, the left knee drives in. Think about holding the left hip nice and into the chest. And slowly... Control that lower left foot down. Nice. From here, your left hand becomes the chaser of your right thigh. Your right hand reaches up and beyond you. Feeling open here. Trust your legs to hold you. Maybe let your right hand cradle your head as you bend the elbow. Feel your feet working to keep you upright. Inhale here, exhale, straighten, come up, click your back heel in, one or two, come up to stand, left hand on the hip, right hand reaching up, inhale, exhale, leaning out, reaching forward, Paravrita Trikonasana, right hand to the block, to the floor, to the thigh, anywhere you can reach, and then open up to the left, reaching the left arm up and away if that is available. Keep pressing into the back foot here, it's so important. If you can't feel it, lift up higher, you've gone too far. Inhale here, 
exhale, look forward, lean forward, bend the left leg, reach the right leg up and away, coming into revolved half moon. Bend the left knee, hands will plant, right foot goes back, left foot goes back. Exhale, vinyasa. Dropping forearms, coming into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, rolling over the toes. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Beautiful work. From here, walk your hands back to your feet. Nice. So, inhale here, halfway left, fingertips to shins or to the floor. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Grab your block if you need it. If not, the right palm is going to plant in front of your face. And then bend both knees. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. And then see if you can straighten the left leg, feeling that long stretch there through the left side. Exhale, switch hands. Inhale, right arm goes up, straightening through the right leg. Exhale, switch. Right hand down, left leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale, right arm lifts. And then exhale, both hands meet the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, deep end of the knees, rolling up to stand on the inhale. Arms reach up and overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands come through the center. Nice, so we'll find a little bit here of kind of freedom and expression of movement away from that structure. And then we'll just do a little bit more work and then we'll start to cool it down. So, circle chair, deep bend of the knees, and from here you can just roll up and down the spine, angulated, and there's no right or wrong, again, there's no yoga way to do it, we're just moving up and down the spine as we feel. So, I like to bend the knees, fold over, let everything hang heavy, and then roll up, reaching up, and then folding down. But you can take anything that feels good here. Maybe that's coming side to side. Maybe it's just linear up and down. Nice. Last time here, doing whatever feels nice. And then meet me in Uttanasana, forward fold. Deep bend of the knees, inhale, rise up, reach the arms up. Nice, I'm just gonna face you for this. It's just gonna be a little bit easier for you to see. So, high on the ball of the toes, reach the arms up. Try and squeeze through the inner line of both legs, squeeze them together. And then slowly, we're going to keep lifted up off the heels and just descend all the way down. Nice. From here, option to side crow, Paj Vabhakasana, or just taking the twist. Both are going to give you a great twisting movement through the spine. So opening up to the right side first. Stay here with the twist or take side crow. So... Your left hand is going to plant down and your left, back of your left arm is going to take the weight of your knees. The right arm is going to be free. Actually, this is a better way to show you. It's going to be free of the body. So we're not, if that's where you're at, see if you can take that arm away. Yeah, if you're learning, maybe use it as a shelf, but really we want to keep the arm out and away. So plant in the hands, leaning forward, lifting the hips, and then letting the feet pop to the left. You could take the leg straight, maybe one leg or the other, and then come back to sitting 
on the heels. Nice job. Same on the other side. So I shall face this way now. So hands into the center, inhale here, sitting tall on the heels. Exhale, the twist is over to the left this time. Stay here working on the twist or we'll take Parjvabhakasana. So this time the right arm is taking the weight of the body. The left arm is free of body parts. So inhale, lean forward, bend your knees up, sorry, bend your elbows and pop the feet up. Maybe you want to straighten through the legs. Be here for five, four, three, two, and come back on one. Back to the top or back to <laughs> neutral. And then from here, we're just going to sit down onto our butts. Nice. So quite a sort of short amount there of practice, but certainly really kind of direct and heat building um, with a lot of twisting. So coming onto your back, we're just going to not twist anymore here. We're just going to kind of allow the spine to be in neutral and kind of enjoy that. So from here, you could take a happy baby, knees go wide and then catching the soles of the feet, drawing the knees down in towards the armpits, really pushing the heels up to the ceiling here, taking a couple of breaths. Slowing down. Maybe straightening one leg and opening it up. Rebending, straightening the other leg, opening it up. Rebending, and then straightening both legs, taking them nice and wide. Bringing the legs together, bending the knees, planting the feet. From here, you can just take a reclined pigeon if that feels nice. So right ankle is going to come up and over the left thigh, gently pushing that right knee away from you. If you want a little bit more, you're going to bring that left, uh, sorry, bring the right foot into the crease of the left arm and then the right knee into the crease of the right arm and lean back. You could straighten the left leg high or you could take the left leg long just for extra stretch there. Try and draw your shoulder blades down to the earth and let the chin be neutral. Wherever you are, find some ease through the stretch. Releasing the right leg if you've got hold of it and then switching sides, left ankle over the right thigh. Pressing the left knee away if that feels good. You could also clasp the back of the right thigh, feeding the left hand through the gap here and drawing the structure in towards the chest. That might feel nice. Or if you're looking for a little bit more, you could bend the right knee, so draw everything into you and then take that left foot onto the inside of the right elbow and then the left knee will go onto the inside of the left elbow and you're kind of cradling your leg here and you can just straighten the right leg up nice and high make sure not to hike the chin i do it instinctively so think if you can just lift and then bring the chin back in and then if you want to you could take the right leg 
Lovely. Drake's obviously on the scent of something here. Hello, Drakey. <laughs> Keep trying to drive. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Keep trying to drive your shoulder blades into the earth. <laughs> Ignoring the sound of Drakey drooling on me. <clears throat> And again, just try and find some softness in this position. I'm, I'm finding fun in this position because Drake is really tickling me here. Nice. And then when you've had enough, gently draw that right knee back into you to let go of the left foot and then release the feet down. Just gonna move forward a little bit out of the way of Drake. <laughs> Sit down, Drakey. Sit. Nice. And then come into your Shavasana from here. So <laughs> I, I will try not to kick Burley because she's sleeping very soundly there. Letting the body feel heavy, letting all of that energy that you've created start to settle, start to find a home within your muscles and joints. Hmm. Surrender to the earth. This is where we will leave you. Until next time, it's absolutely a lovely privilege to practice with you here on YouTube. We look forward to seeing you again on the mat. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Yogi.